Hello again, guys. It's Mr. Zigner, Lesson 1-6, Variables and Expressions. All right, here's a simple example to get us started. We're evaluating t minus 4 if t equals 6. Well, evaluate, as we've already defined in our glossary, is simply to solve a problem. Now, if we take that 6 that t is equal to and replace t with it, we end up with the problem 6 minus 4. And of course, 6 minus 4 is simply 2 after a little bit of subtraction. Moving on. OK, it's our turn. We're going to evaluate 7 plus m if m equals 4. So we're just going to replace that letter m with the number 4. So the problem turns into 7 plus 4. And of course, 7 plus 4 is 11. A little more complicated, but nothing we can't handle. Evaluate 5x plus 3y if x equals 7 and y equals 9. So we, as you can see in this example, they're replacing the x with 7. So that becomes 5 times 7. Replacing the y with 9, that becomes 3 times 9. Now you can see why we did our order of operations lesson right before this. First step would be, of course, the multiplying. 5 times 7 is 35. 3 times 9 is 27. Finishing up with 35 plus 27, and we end up with 62 as our answer. OK, one for us. We're going to evaluate 4a minus 2b if a equals 9 and b equals 6. All right, so that's 4a minus 2b. OK, we're going to replace the a with a 9, so that becomes 4 times 9 minus 2 times, now b is supposed to be 6. All right, next in the order of operations will, of course, be multiplying. 4 times 9 is, of course, 36. And 2 times 6 is 12. Finish up with a little bit of subtraction. 36 minus 12 is 24. All right, moving on. Another one for us to do, evaluating, evaluating an expression. So we're evaluating 5 plus a squared if a is 5. So that's 5 plus a squared, and a is 5. So I'm just going to take out the letter a, put in that 5, so that becomes 5 squared. OK, order of operations, what do we do first? Well, it's not that 5 plus 5. Front, uh, no parentheses here, we, our exponent comes first. So 5 squared is 25. Add the 5 to that, and we end up with 30. All righty. Nothing too hard yet. Moving on. 24 minus s squared if s equals 3. All right. So I like to write out that problem first. Rewrite it again, this time with the number in place of the variable. Now I stop and I think about my order of operations. So first would be my exponent, 3 squared, which means two threes multiplied together. That would be 9. Bring, the, bring down my 24 and minus. Now I just finish up with 24 minus 9. 24 minus 9 is 15. All right, slide my little circle over here. Okay, we're doing great. Now, a little bowling. David is going bowling with a group of friends. His cost for bowling can be described by the formula 1.75 plus 2.5 G, where G is the number of games David bowls. Find the total cost of bowling if David bowls three games. Okay, well, there's that expression 1.75 plus 2.5 G. Alrighty. Now we're going to replace that G because G stood for the number of games, and later on they tell us that he bowled three games. So let's rewrite that with a 3 in. So 1.75 plus 2.5. Now 2.5 G, that means 2.5 times the number of games. The number of games was 3. 
All right, next step, let's start simplifying this. Well, we would want to multiply first, and right here, 2.5 times 3 is 7.5. So this becomes 1.75 plus 7.5. Well, if we add our 1.75 to 7.5, we end up with 9.25. But of course, that's money, so it's $9.25. See, is that our last slide? Yes, yes it is. Hey, well, thanks for joining me for this, wow, rather short video, only about six minutes um, on lesson 1-6, which was on variables and expressions. All right, check out those questions, get those done, and we'll catch up with you the next day in class. Bye-bye.